An important question is how much energy could we get out of wind power? And if we do get large amounts of energy out of wind power, how big a climatic effect might that have? To address this question, my former postdoc, Kate Marvel, Ben Kravitz, and myself did a study where we took a climate model and represented wind turbines both near Earth's surface and distributed through the atmosphere. And the idea of distributing wind turbines through the atmosphere is to test this idea of putting wind turbines on kites and seeing how much energy that might be able to get. And we found that wind turbines distributed across Earth's surface could generate more than 20 times the amount of power currently used by civilization and distributed throughout the entire atmosphere could generate more than 100 times as much power as currently used by civilization. Now at these huge power extraction rates the, uh, there are significant climatic effects. If we look at the scale of civilization, 18 terawatts, we find that there are really minor climate effects on the order of a tenth of a degree Celsius or 1% change in precipitation. Of course, if you build concentrated wind farms, there could potentially be more significant local or regional climate effects. But in any event, the conclusion of our study is that there's a huge amount of power available in winds and that the, if the wind turbines are distributed broadly, the climate effects should be negligible. And so then the issues that are limiting the development of wind power, this normal economic issues of cost as well as intermittency and so on, but it's not a fundamental geophysical limit that's preventing wind power from powering civilization. Mm -hmm.